Hello friends, welcome to Monday. It is officially a real snow day because there was this crazy ice storm last night and we don't have power. Most of Portland doesn't have power. So work from home has kind of gotten rid of the snow day, but because we don't have power, we don't have internet, we also don't have any signal, so it's a real snow day. I hardly got any sleep last night because the sounds were crazy. Trees falling over, sheets of ice falling from trees and rooftops and shattering. It sounded like shattering windows and then sparks here and there from power lines falling and we woke up to no power and it's currently 55 degrees inside of our house but the sun is out and the temperature is rising so everything's melting and there's literally it's like raining ice from all the trees and the power lines right now but it's so beautiful especially with the sunlight because it's all heating up there's like steam coming off of the snow so you can see the rays of sunlight and then just sprinkles of ice falling from all of the trees so i've been out filming that wearing a helmet because it's really dangerous out there actually um, we did lose the maple tree in our front yard, which is so sad because it's so beautiful. Like the iconic maple tree that is bright, vibrant green in the summertime and then this beautiful golden yellow in the fall and then now it's done for, which is sad. So we're gonna plant another one, but it's gonna take so long for it to get as big as that one was. But honestly we're really grateful that that is the total amount of damage that happened on our property because it's really bad everywhere there's tons of fallen trees so we slept in a bit and then i woke up and washed my face with ice cold water because we don't have warm water um and then i was getting footage outside and i think we're about to go on a walk to just behold all of the beauty and devastation and then i'd like to paint later and read and just really enjoy a true snow day with no power <laughs> um, so that means no phone no computer it's like a screenless date night but a screenless day in which we wear tons of layers to keep warm it's exciting I feel like a little kid I hope it doesn't last longer than today but I'm enjoying it for the day it's a screenless daytime Landon's behind me nobody knew <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, all right man. well that's it let's get to it friends
morning. <laughs> so the sun has officially set and it is very dark in our home. So I've gotten my moon lamp out and honestly I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> it's really cold in our house. In fact, it is um, 53 degrees. Our thermostat is battery powered, so that's how we're able to monitor the temperature, but it's a cold one. And it's just after six, so we're gonna go ahead and figure out dinner. We have a grill, thank goodness, so we're gonna grill a feast, and then I think we're gonna have a fire. It depends on how windy it is outside, but I'm having so much fun. I'm very cold, but definitely making the most out of this official snow day. I feel like a little kid again. Okay. Let's get some dinner ready. Gonna have some pasta with vegan meatballs and roasted carrots. <laughs> A winter feast. Oh, yes. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ooh, look at that steam coming off. It's so warm. Yay. I'm so excited. An impromptu candlelit dinner. Who knew? We've never had one of these. No. This is our first panel at dinner. Yay! It is so bright in here because we, we got, got power! power. Woohoo! We didn't even have to go a full 24 hours without power. How amazing is that? If anything, today has showed me how dependent I am on our power and everything that it fuels and then how grateful I am to have our home, this shelter above our heads, and to just live in a place where resources like electricity are readily abundant. Overall, today was a really good day. I enjoyed reading The Bear and the Nightingale, which is what I was reading earlier today. Um, I got through the first hundred pages, and part one was honestly kind of boring, but part two is really picking up, so I'm definitely enjoying it, and I'm really glad to have had this spontaneous day off and feeling very motivated to get back to work tomorrow. I don't know if this will be an extension to the vlog that I filmed over the weekend or if it'll be a new vlog, but regardless, thank you so very much for spending this day with me, and I'll see you next time. Good night, friends. I love you.